Since taking the helm at Elon in 2005, Coach Darren Powell has fielded many impressive men's soccer squads and made the Phoenix a force to reckon with on the national level. After having arguably the program's best season at the Division I level last year, the expectations for this year were sky high. Well, it's safe to say, the Phoenix reached the sky. We've been able to get as many wins as you know, we've ever had in Division I, so that's exciting. But we know there's still a lot of work to be done, and uh, you know, all the credit has to go to the players and their attitude and effort throughout the year. Altogether, the Phoenix compiled 13 wins this season but none bigger than a 2-1 victory over familiar foe Coastal Carolina, the highest ranked team that Elon had ever played at Rudd Field. I mean, we have a chip on our shoulder when it comes to them. We kind of circle that one on the calendar each year. Um, and like you said, we didn't have a great record against them. And some other big uh, teams in the nation, we do have a better record against. So we kind of wanted to keep the ball rolling on that and uh, get a good result against them. And we knew there was not going to be a better opportunity to do it in the regular season. Um, while they were ranked as high as they were, especially at home. Phoenix fans filled the stands throughout the season, sharing many great moments with the team. Hot or cold, rain or shine, students lined the fences at every home game, making Red Field one of the most hostile environments in all of college soccer. I think they've taken up the name the Rudd Regime, um, but they've been huge in coming out and supporting us, and especially lining around the fences and um, annoying the other team. I mean, every little thing helps, and. It's not the biggest stadium in the nation, but the fans there are just so loud and into the game and they're so close to the field. It just really makes it a special place where we feel like we have a competitive advantage. We're really close with a lot of people that come out to the games. You see professors, people from other athletic teams, uh, just people from class that you know come out with groups of friends. And that's huge for us. I can't tell you how much it means to me and all the guys. Um, that look in a crowd and make eye contact with people you know are really cheering for you. This year's senior class was second to none compiling more wins at the Division I level than any other class in Elon history. Although the numbers are outstanding, senior class will be remembered for much more than just records. What I say about this group of seniors, they never give up. In any situation, they keep, keep playing. Even on senior day, we were down a couple of times in a, in a game against local rival UNCG, and they kept going, and they kept going, and then you know, managed it to win it in the last couple of minutes. So, I think that attitude of never giving up and giving your best all the time is what their legacy of a group of seniors will be. Defeating the Phoenix during the regular season is a difficult task in itself. Defeating them in the postseason? Well, let's just say that it doesn't happen very often. We really become a different animal when it comes to the postseason, and that's kind of what we've done over the past couple of years. Um, and it's kind of an identity as a team we like to have, our performance in the tournament. So we're looking to three-peat this year with the Southern Conference Tournament Championship and uh, start to make a run in the NCAA tournament. What our successful regular season did do for us is it showed us that we can win, and it showed us we can win a multitude of ways. Uh, some games we dominated, some games we grinded out, um, even the losses we learned things. And sort of going through that experience together really helps us go forward into the tournament and just think, we know how to do this. We've been here before. We believe in each other. We can win this.